Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, I am doing uh, my first ever speed reviews uh, video. I figured that, uh, you know, it would be beneficial to talk to you about uh, the products that I tested out throughout the month and you know to just give you some thoughts whether i like it whether or not whether you know it has a place in my connect co collection or or not so if you're interested in seeing that kind of video then just keep on watching so first i'm going to start off with the skincare that um i had tested out throughout the month and the first thing is from avant this is the um ultimate hyaluronic acid resurfacing dual moisturizer so this is what it looks like this is what i am using right now as my pm uh, moisturizer because i used up the one that i had in my skincare project pan spoiler alert you will see that very soon so i decided to pull this one out i just don't get where Avant gets those prices for their products. It is a good basic moisturizer, but I wouldn't pay more than like 30 euro for it because number one, the packaging is kind of cheap. That's number one. And number two, the formula is just okay. It's nothing spectacular. So yeah, I don't know. Avant is a very, very expensive in my opinion. And you know, kind of looking at their formulas, I don't think they're worth it and you know <clears throat> i wouldn't buy it myself i usually get van products in my boxes which i actually have unsubscri unsubscribed from all of my boxes right now um there are two reasons and number one because of brexit and every delivery is so delayed coming into ireland so i said i'll give myself a break for about half a year see how the situation progresses and if i see that delivery times are uh, better i will resubscribe to birchbox glass box and look fantastic but for the time being i'm okay not being subscribed to them because i have so many you know products and usually i would get skincare you know with them and i have enough skincare to last me about a year <laughs> so yeah we'll see we'll see how how the situation goes with delivery times but so far i'm i'm okay i think i'm happy with the decision plus you know i get to save about 50 euro a month um not buying those boxes but yeah avant uh okay but nothing spectacular and then another uh, moisturizer that i had tried is the nukes by or organic um marine seaweed skin correcting moisturizing fluid so this is nice but this is not what i expected it says skin correcting moisturizing fluid i thought this would be a tinted moisturizer right but when you squeeze it out it comes out as just like a normal moisturizer i mean it's very hydrating and all but it doesn't do what i thought it would it's you know considering that it says skin correct and moisturizing fluid um so yeah it's a nice moisturizer but i think it's a uh, false advertising in my opinion um yeah it's it's just it's just grand then going into makeup uh this month i had been testing the catrice true skin high cover concealer uh this is supposed to be 18 hour hydrating um high coverage moisturizing hydro boost one settle into fine lines fresh even soft matte finish covers under eye circles is long lasting and waterproof guys this is so good i was not expecting to like it as much as i do however i think all the claims that this uh, particular concealer uh, you know displays are true because I apply it right I apply my concealer and then I go in with my cream product so it kind of stays on my under eyes unpowdered for I would say maybe five minutes you know while I do my cream bronzer cream blush and cream highlight and I have not seen this concealer settle into my fine lines underneath you know my eyes basically and I have very prominent fine lines underneath my eyes and it just doesn't settle it is really really good i can confirm that it has high coverage most definitely um it has a soft matte finish be 
because it doesn't settle into my fine lines um if you have dry skin i think you would get away without setting it because it just sets itself very nicely um i really enjoy it i this might actually be better than the liquid camouflage concealer and the liquid camouflage concealer was my love but i think they changed the formula in that one because it's not as high coverage anymore it's, it's just not the same you know what i mean the only problem i have with this guy is uh, the wand so this is what the wand looks like now i don't have a problem with how much product it contains the shape of it nothing like that it's just that it is super flimsy super flimsy and yeah i don't like that honestly because it's kind of hard to you know pimp point at the place that you would like this that you would like to place this concealer but let me just show you the let me blend this out and show you the, the consistency of it so see very very high coverage beautiful color for me i have my one in 010 cool uh, cashmere it's really really good i i think i found my new favorite drugstore concealer what else can I say? <laughs> Moving on to cheek products. Uh, this month I have been trying out the Beauty Crap um, Blush Duo. And this one is in the shade Orion Glow. So we have uh, two shimmery kind of um, blushes. One is more pinky, one is more neutral. And honestly, I enjoy this guy. I usually mix the two of them because it just seems like the color is nicer so let me just mix them up for you this is the color mixed it looks really beautiful on the cheeks this is the powder blush that i'm wearing right now on my cheeks and it just looks a very glowy doesn't emphasize any you know texture per se even though it's shimmery it's just a really smooth and uh beautifying formula and it's very soft i really enjoyed this blush uh blush why am i saying blush weird i don't know um but yeah it's it's nice uh it's definitely something that i would like to keep in my collection it's not something that i would consider decluttering it's just a really good basic um blush duo <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing else I can say about it. And then I also tried the Ale Masca Beyond. Beyond. What is going on with me? I can't speak today. I don't know. <sighs> relax, woman. Relax. This is the Ale Masca uh, Beyond Powder Highlighter. And I think I have my one in the shade OMG. It is... Oh, let me just try to open it. It's very... Oh, I'm opening it from the wrong side. <laughs> it's quite easy to open if you open it from the right side. So um, this is what it looks like. It is just a basic gold champagne highlight. It is very, very similar to the highlighter that I am panning in my pan that face palette. So I had been, I have been using them uh, interchangeably. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing on my face right now it provides a beautiful glow the shade suits me perfectly so if you have uh, a light to medium skin tone i think this will work well it is a very soft and um, blendable powder again it's a basic highlighter we have those shades everywhere in our highlighter uh, collection if i were to compare this highlight i think it is similar to the mary luminizer it is similar to a shade in my sosu highlighter palette it is similar to my lovely um highlighter in the in in that palette um so it is just you know it's just your typical gold champagne highlight nothing to write home about but nonetheless it is beautiful um one thing that didn't work out for me unfortunately is this this is the balm pedal to the metal baba room cream eyeshadow and i have my one in the shade shift into overdrive it is a 
rose gold kind of shade it is um, a cream shadow uh, what I was hoping that this would be or that this would act as a base and not crease on my eyes but unfortunately it is that kind of formula that um, that creases so if you have hooded eyes if you have wrinkly eyes it is not something that will work for you although as you can see <clears throat> it is quite a beautiful beautiful rose gold shade so yeah unfortunately this is gonna go into a new home i'm hoping one of my friends would enjoy it um maybe um you know they will find some use um out of it but i definitely cannot use it on my eyes because it creases so like i said if you have you know wrinkly hooded eyes it's not gonna work out for you because it's just too emo emollient i only have two more products to talk about and i have a lipstick this is a mini lipstick from lise wattier and i have my one in the shade ginger bread um i was not expecting to like it as much and it looks disgusting because it kind of melted in my pocket <clears throat> but i use like three quarters of it this is how much i have left of this little guy it is the lipstick that i was wearing on uh, <clears throat> new year's eve so i was you know constantly reapplying it if i can give you a swatch i will so this is what it looks like it is just a really nice warm nude kind of lipstick and i enjoy it <laughs> it doesn't stay on the lips for too long uh you you know because it's so creamy and so shiny you would have to reapply it on your lips um i would say every hour which is why i probably i was probably able to you know use it that quickly but because the color and the formula is so comfortable i find these worth it and i just I really like it you know uh, I think I might put it into my shop my stash um, soon so that I can use it up and have a lipstick uh, you know out of my collection because as I've said a million times but well, lipsticks are not my favorite types of products I prefer liquid lipsticks or glosses bullet lipsticks are just not it and you know I want to rotate them out of my collection ASAP and you know stashing with this guy would be a good start so yeah but i do really enjoy this um this lipstick super comfortable beautiful color shiny uh you do have to reapply it constantly because it does not stay on your lips but it's just it's just nice and the last product that i tried out last month um was the mac uh what is it called retro matte liquid lip color in the shade red jade i love this color this is such a beautiful beautiful uh lip color it is perfect for the summer it is perfect for the spring it is perfect for the autumn it is perfect for the winter it is just lovely it is a bright coral red that just oh looks beautiful on the lips the problem with this guy is that number one it is a very sheer okay so <clears throat> i built up that swatch but i'll give you one this is what it looks like i hope you'll be able to see how sheer it is and if you were to apply this on your lips you would have to go over it many many times and this formula does not allow you to do that because it is a liquid lipstick and because it is drying you cannot apply it or you cannot you know build up that color so what would you what what you would have to do was or what i did was i had a lip liner in this in in a similar shade so i would align my lips i would fill them in and then just lightly top off that lip liner with this shade and it just looks lovely i do not recommend these because the formula is so tricky however if 
or when I use this up or when I get rid of it I'm hoping that I'd be able to find a similar shade in a much better formula because I would never ever buy these lipsticks again because they're just they're not great that's all I have to say but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my first ever speed reviews video and I am hoping to do them every month as I try out new products uh, from my collection that I haven't used before or, you know, trying the products um, that I buy. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this video. I, oh, I keep forgetting my outro. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Salve. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm.